just popped a natty and it's time to go Now you got me singing like what's going on you guys welcome to another reaction just so you all know we are live on twitch right now that's going to be the first link in the description today we're going to have a special reaction one of my viewers actually popped in and said that he releases music and that's exactly what we're going to be checking out huge shout out to fantasy his link is going to be actually the first one in the description go check him out he's on spotify he's on the youtubes he's on basically all audio streaming platforms he's a young and up-and-coming artist and it's been a pleasure to meet him through this whole reaction journey. So shout out to Fantasy. You can find him basically here on the screen. Um, and the songs that you just listened to are Dead and Cold and Love is War, which are two of my favorites. So today, we, this is an actually an exclusive listen. The song is an unreleased song, but he's allowing me to react to it before it comes out. So huge shout out to you, Fantasy. Everybody go check him out. So we got If I Die Tonight by obviously Fantasy. If y'all want me to react to some music that maybe y'all would like or, you know, if there's anything out there that y'all want me to listen to, make sure you leave that down in the comment section and we'll definitely get to them in the future. But anyways, If I Die Tonight, Fantasy. Let's get it. song is so loomy so far it's kind of like they're taking you on this ride of just you know this spacey it's kind of ironic because we just listened to intergalactic yesterday by kid cuddy but it, i'm kind of getting that same vibe of this interstellar feeling going through this song and the story being told to us so it's a good feeling so let's continue we're almost done we, it's we got a minute and 20 seconds left Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I might be thinking of this too deep, but this is what I'm getting off of it. And it's very hard if this is the actual meaning of this song. So here he says. So 
so this whole like classroom analogy looking at the wall and wondering is it heaven or hell would you leave me alone here right in this classroom staring at these walls that are heaven or hell is that like the social structure of life people telling you what to do like stay in this lane this is what you're supposed to do you're supposed to fall in line with society these are the walls do not do not look past those walls right and you're staring at these walls like what is the meaning of life like are is this wall my heaven keeping me on the path to success or is it hell is it something that is keeping me back from what i'm actually supposed to be doing in this earth right i feel like a lot of aspiring artists whether it be with music or actual painting art whatever it is they kind of have to break out of this box they have to reach out of themselves and kind of be this outlier and be kind of undeniable when it comes to their passion because everybody is telling them no you can't do this this not many people can pull this off. You're not that person, right? And then so most people would just fall in line. And, the, you know, that's that wall, figuratively speaking. Like, you know, no, that's not, this is where you're limited at. This is your ceiling. You can't You can't go f- past that. It's like, well, it, it could very much be your hell. And it could be holding you back from all the other stuff that you're potentially can, you know, succeed at, right? So, correct. Fantasy says I'm right. So, very deep song. I like it a lot. Let's continue. We got we got a few more seconds here. Oh man. I like it, bro. Anything that has this very intricate meaning, something that is very sugar coated, but the people that actually listen to music that that put things in perspective and break down lyrics and understand that the song actually means more than what it is to the eye or to the ear, rather. This is the type of music I like. And I have the the privilege to actually have them in the chat. And so he says, when I was talking about when if I die tonight, would you let me fail? I was also saying, like, if I die, would you let my story die or would you let it die with me? That's kind of like the, I feel like a lot of men struggle with that because a lot of men want to create this legacy that carries on through history, right? Like, everybody wants to be known as this very prominent, profound person, right? And um, you want to know if you were worthy enough for your story, for your life to be passed down, or will it lay in your grave with you? And would you be like just somebody who nobody really cared about after you passed away? You know, people cried about you and they were in woe about you for about two months. And then, you know, they kind of just carried on with their life. Or are you going to be like a Martin Luther King where they'll make a holiday about you and remember you forever, right? And see, Martin Luther King, using that example, is like he's one of those person that looked at the at that wall, at that barrier, and said, "This is my hell. I'm not gonna fall in line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break through that wall if need be, and I'm gonna do what I was destined to do on this earth." And it's crazy because a wall is like a perfect example because it can seem like that, right? It can seem something that's unbreakable. Like, no, I can't go against the grain here. Like the force is way too strong, and it's like no. It's not too strong. You can break through. It's going to take a lot of time, but you can do it. Very good song. Shout out to Fantasy. Like I said, first link in the description. Go check him out. He is a homie, and we've been listening to his music here on the stream for about a week now. So thank you guys so much. If you have any other suggestions, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll catch you all in the next reaction. Peace. I wanna be real like Roger If you want that smoke, bitch, we got ya yeah. Pull up, Billy Trump, bitch, we pop ya yeah. If you got a problem, bitch, we fix it You a ratchet hoe, how you picky? Shot him in the back like Ricky No, I'm sad Roger, let's get to it